Green boy. Okay. I'm Destroy the place. Yeah, you? well, I've just knocked what one of the juices down. You've got a brand new one. I'm just saying the Bear with me now. I'm just going to rescue the juice. I've got that hole. Oh, oh God, I've got to come back out of you. Ah. Oh, my God. Uh, yay, found it. <laughs> Try not to drop a few. You can mute the sound. <laughs> Damn. Well, I don't need to hear it in repeat. Start with me. I'm not even on the camera, look. Can I wiggle your ass over? <laughs> Hi, Pops. Yeah, new camera tonight, so all fun. Hi, Mom. Sue, so, I won these mm -hmm. Hustler juices with CFE 12. Hi, Dusty. And the flavours we've got tonight is the bold, the cool. We've got the daring. Hiya guys. The cunning. And the last one. Oh, don't drop it. I've got the dropsies tonight. And the smart. And they're coming. You shut up. What's the weather like then, Dusty? Is it bad? Is it raining? Hi, Damien. Because it's raining here as well. But this is the rain that you like to catch. You can get to play my new toy. Excuse me? Yeah, that the V2 is my new one. Oh. Well, the newest one to the table. Oh, well, when you said new toy, I thought you meant something else. So I'm going to quickly run down for the box. Uh, ten, five, At the front of the box, you've got your warning. You should have your own screw. Zero nicotine mm. and the VGPG mix, which is. Do, 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 do. No, that's 10 mil. Give me a minute. Hiya, Lindsay. So, <clears throat> let's see if I can find the VGP. <coughs> got it. 64, it was on the wrong side. <laughs> so. As someone said, these boxes are very similar to the Nasty Juice. And the one thing I did notice, the little symbol that matches on the front there, but a tiny little hologram just there. If you can see that. So these are all zeros at 60-40 VGPG mix. This one is the Blackcurrant and Mango. You should be able to read that. Get to focus in. There's all the warnings. Nice and clear. <coughs> yeah, and the camera really does pick it up. Cunning for the win. Mm. Uh, cunning, 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 cunning. Well, that was cool. You're on about the one I dropped, oh. aren't you? I told you it's bedtime. Oh. Cunning. Okay, as Pop says, cunning for the win. We'll do this one first. Hiya, Charles. Hi, Chelsea, honey. It's my computer. Break open box. So I haven't tried none of these yet. Nice. Do, do, do. 
Jared, I'm going to get enough for comments on this, anyone? Yeah, I know, but you'll only get the ones. So, inside the box, you've got a nice little leaflet. Which comes with nice little warnings. <coughs> All at the bottom. Nice and clear to read. Plus the juice logo at the top. And again for the other side. Oh, Lee says hello. Oh, okay. Darren says hi, Mum. Hello. Yep. He says love you. Well, I can't scratch off the label, which is another good thing. But the nice clear labels, clear juice, and no added colours. And this is Hustler Cunley, which is lemon. Child safety caps. Hi, Jim. Jim. Hi. So. We're going to put Cunning on my Rig V2, and just for anyone who knows, I haven't actually used it yet. It's been sat on my desk, wicked, built for a couple of days. I <laughs> 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 uh, just in case you're wondering, guys, I'm actually using a G proof with a TFBA, uh, 70 watts. Absolutely love it. Oh. Really fruity, sweet smell to this lemon, not a nasty, bitter smell. Uh, Smells like um, <coughs> lemon gummy bears. And everybody gets a dry throat, so you always need to wet your whistle with something. Cheers, guys. So. You might not like that one. There's a little bit of a, a menthol kick. Not a bad one. Hmm. Just a little one. Lindsay, what do you mean, hon? What's the flavour? What's what? Do you want the Chris's vaping now or the one that I'm vaping? This flavour's called Cunning. It's a lemon. I'd say it's more like a um, sweet lemonade. Not cool, Hi, Paul. Mm -hmm. Don't know which pull, but <coughs> I pull. That bit hasn't come up yet. Excuse me for a second, guys. Uh, nice. Quite a sweet one, which is quite surprising for a lemon juice because most lemon right. juices come out bitter. <laughs> really smooth, but that could be down to where it's. Well, both of the young, man. <laughs> Zero, Nick. Terry, if you do that again, I can smell that. That's disgusting. Do what? <laughs> Hang on a minute, what am I getting accused of here now? It's you. What's me? Oh, the used guffed or he's guffed. What well, was it me? He's one of you's free because it, it ain't me. It was not me. You sure it ain't you? I don't know. I can't taste lime in this. If it was That's me, you'd know taste. about it. Oh, God. <laughs> it just says lime on it, as in fire rings. Well, lemon not, sorry. Hi, Aileen. It's really sweet, though. Ah, it's all over. Yeah, I'm not getting the lime from this, which is really surprising, because anything with lime in normally is like, bleh, no. Lime, but I'm not getting no lime. Grapefruit, I'm getting a touch of ice. So the grapefruit, grapefruit is probably where the sweetness is coming from. Because it's more of a natural sweetness. No peely taste from an orange, which <coughs> most oranges give off. I'm getting more, getting more of the, the lemon. I am getting the grapefruit come through more. But I'm not getting orange and the lime come through. Yeah, it is. See if you can find any lime in that. Apparently, there's lime and orange in that, but I ain't picking them two up. Hmm. There might be just a subtle bit in the background, though. But what I'm getting is I'm getting the sweet lemonade mixed with the grapefruit with that touch of ice, which is just enough to put a nice little cool on your throat, like you've had a glass of orange juice straight from the fridge. That sort of cold, but without the orange. It is. Um, I'm on a, I'm on a mech. <laughs> I'm running a point. Hmm. 
1.9 bill. Mm -hmm. 0.19, sorry. Get it right. Yeah, 0.19 dual build. So, what are you getting from it? I can pick out the line. Yeah, the, the line does sort of hit you. I'm not getting the line from it because normally when I take this line, I feel sick. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting lime straight away. I'm, as I'm inhaling, I'm getting the lime straight away. But then as I'm letting it sit on my tongue, I'm getting more of the orange that comes through with a hint of grapefruit. The grapefruit's not overpowering. I think the grapefruit's there purely just for the sweetness. Sweetness, but, yeah. Mmm. That's actually quite an interesting juice, to be fair. Yeah, when it said lemon on the bottle... On the box, I really expected quite a bitter, like cloudy lemonade sort of type taste. No, I'm not, I'm not getting lemon but at all. I'm getting a mild hint of lemon. The sweetness of the grapefruit come through. But I'm not picking up on that lime. And normally if a juice has got lime in it, it's like, there, no, go away. How many flavours are in the range? I am not sure, but I have five of them here tonight. So coming which is what we're doing now <clears throat> and another four right okay i'm getting lime on the intake i'm getting lemon on the exhale but the longer i leave it sitting on my tongue the more the orange is coming through and the grapefruit is just giving it a sweetness Give it here. which is kind of quite nice to be fair Yeah, if you leave it on your tongue, you do get more of the orange, but I'm still mm. not picking up on that line. I don't really care, but that one has surprised me considering it's got lime in. I actually like that one. Oh, and the know. cooling's just refreshing. It's yeah. not overpowered. I'm not really a big fan of meats or menthols, you know that. So the ice part for me is what lets it down, but the, the fruit flavours are there, and they're quite, they're really nice. I wouldn't say it's a cool killer, because it's not, it's not sickly sweet. It's not overpowering mm. this week, no, not at all, is it? Yeah, there's enough sweetness there just to give you a nice bit of a tang on the tongue, but apart from that, that's about it. it mm. But it is really nice. So I'll pop that one over to the side, because that was cunning. It really does make your mouth water. Mm. Really quite nice. Um, let's try the apple one, because you said you like apple. Oh, I love my apples. So this one's smart. Uh, Pops, we're using Mex to do these um, this review, so as far as wattage is concerned, I can't really give you an answer for that. And the child safety is beating me on this one. You almost oh. crack it. You got it? No, I got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah, child safety bottles are not friendly to me. So, let's put it on the Endless V1. I don't sell these, but Pops will probably um, be able to fill you in on where you can get these from, Jim Jim. <clears throat> I won these in a competition from Holy Smokes. So. Do, 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 give it a good show. <laughs> Ooh. Does anyone remember the smell of the apple jack sweets? Yes, I love apple jacks, rosy apples, anything smell like that. Smell that. Ooh, apple chew it. I'm getting the apple jacks. You know the ones from Harry Bird? Yeah, but I'm getting apple chew it. Ooh, this is going to be good. This See how well it compares. Good. You like the apples. It is, it is just like the Applejack sweets. That crisp taste of apple, followed by the sweetness of it on the exhale. Mm -hmm. And it leaves a tingling on your lips, just like the Applejack sweets used to. 
Oh. Just wash my mouth out one second. I'm impressed with that. Um, it's actually a Facebook group, Jim Jim. I do various different things. We have competitions. There's actually a raffle going on at the moment for one of our sponsors for a £50 pound one, voucher. Um, we've got some other reviews coming up, which I'll tell you more about in once we finish this review. <laughs> but I tell you what, this apple one is really, really nice. Really smooth. Oh, man. Don't start drooling now. <laughs> oh, I'm so in heaven with that one. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, I'm sorry, once more. Would you like to explain what you're getting from the juice instead of drooling everywhere? <laughs> <clears throat> I'm getting exactly what I thought. I'm getting sort of sour apple chewits, and you know what? I absolutely love it. However, it's not exactly sour apples. I'm getting more of a sweet apple. And you know what? I've had lots of apple like but that one, oh, that's just heaven in a bottle. Pure heaven. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I could write this one all day, quite happily. I know, I see by your face. Maybe I was back. waiting for the dribble to drip down. You're joking, that's half beer. I ain't losing that. <laughs> <laughs> Even I have my limits. <laughs> okay, so... While Terry fondles over the Apple Smart, we'll uh, move on to the cool, I think, which is the black currant and mango. Now, I do like my mango vapes, and the worst thing I find with some mangoes is that they taste really peely, which sort of lets it down. All the rover sweet. Now I'm hoping with this the black currant doesn't overpower the mango. Mm -hmm. Hi Richard. Look, got to out to play today. Good to be today. Got one out to play today. Good to be oh, too. I got it on Pinky. I think you need to be a bit more specific when you say you got it out to play today. Hmm. Not a strong smell to the black currant and the mango. So all I seem to get is sort of a peely smell to the mango. So I'll be quite curious to see how this one turns out. Sorry, brass drawer. Okay. That's nice. I think the peely smell is more towards the bottle. Mm -hmm. So, black currant and mango. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Pinky, I ain't going to answer that one because I might get a slap. <laughs> I didn't read that one properly, Pinky. Yeah, but I did. It's not a peely mango that I'm getting. It's not an overripe mango. It's not over sweet either, which is quite unusual. Mm. Lynn, it is raining, unfortunately. Just happens to be Ryan in Cronenberg. <laughs> There's a slight little bit of cool into this one, I think. Not getting much of the black current. But 
Oh, no. Black mm. current's more on the exhale. It's sort of a mild black current. I don't want snow. Snow means pain. Pain's bad. Excuse me. I get more mango than the black current on this, but the black current's there just as a subtle hint on the exhale. It's really nice. <laughs> Quite surprising because when you smell it, you can smell like a peely mango, but it really does change things around because it's not peely, it's not over sweet. Mm -hmm. I could quite happily bake that one all day. Yeah, I'll test. Black currant and mango. Black currant and mango? Mm. Mm, I'm getting warm. more mango with the black currant on the exhale. And there's a slight bit of cooling just in between. <clears throat> hmm. Now I'm getting more mango than black currants on that. However, some mangoes can be quite um some of them just don't taste right you know there's something wrong with some, them but you can't some put your taste on it. artificial then you get some that are over sweetened mm. then you get the some that are just bitter and peely taste but that yeah. one's sort of it, it's, the it's, right blend in the middle of all of them it's i wouldn't say it's a true ripe mango but on the other hand i wouldn't say that it was an over sweetened artificial no. mango either but you know it's it, yet again it, it's the cool art or whatever that's that's in there the that, that's, yeah that's that's throwing me off i don't like anything like that within my juices but saying that that is really a nice juice to be honest even with that in it but i wouldn't vape it myself i'm finding more of the black current on the exhale though than i am on the intake on the so, inhale i'm getting more than mm. the mango and the cooling then on the exhales, followed by that hint of blackberry. Yeah, the blackberry definitely does come out on the exhale. Absolutely does. Well, you know, fine, it, it, it is an nice juice. Mm -hmm. I can't fault it really, apart from the cooling agent in it. I, I, I don't like really as a rule any kind of, of liquids that have got any menthols, meats or cooling agents in them. I don't think anyone's um, going to at the moment, Mum. Purely because I find that you either put too much in them or you just don't put enough in them. Um, and if you put too much in them, it spoils the juices. And if you don't put enough in them, then there's just no point in doing it. So I personally try to stay clear of things like that myself. Okay, no. so we have two. So we have the dare, daring and bold. So which one should we do next? Oh, let's have the daring. Daring? Okay. So we we'll leave bold to the last. Just for anyone who was wondering, these are a Malaysian juice made in the UK. Right, and we'll put yeah pops um as a fruit i do actually love my mangoes i do actually like any kind of fruit to be fair from the comments of course um yeah i i, I really do like Ooh. any kind of fruit i mean i'm, I'm a keen buyer of fruits However, the only problem is, is I find that I can never get enough of them. Even in vape juices, the, the juices that I tend to go for are fruit flavoured. This one smells yummy. Smell that. That's a strong blackberry. Ooh. Mmm. That seems interesting. But then it's really me, got a strong potency to this one. I was going to say, though, even though it seems strong on there, it may not be that strong when you vape it. So, so I've got this on my endless clean. 
give it a twenty and we'll see what happens. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's yeah. that's mouth watering. Straight off. Black current hits you. Oh. It reminds me of the black current blast you get out of the black rituals. Okay. So if anything, then it should rival the nasty juice because they've got a black current juice too. I wouldn't say it's like the nasty juice because the nasty juice black current hasn't got the little menthol kick to it. That has. This has sort of got the cool inside of that kick. Okay. And it's not over sweetened. Mm -hmm. Where the nasty juice one, you get the sweet black currant chewies, but you get the sweetness as if you're chewing on the chewies as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one hasn't got that. It's more of a natural sweetness coming from the black cherries. Okay. I really like that one. I don't really go for black currant, but oh, I'll have to make that one all day. Really is nice. Let's have a go. Let's see what it's like. Yeah, it is more like the great taste, but I'm getting black currant in it as well. Hmm. Now, that one for me, I could actually vape that one myself because the actual grape and black currant in that is just unbelievable. I'm getting more they're of the not, black currant and then the grape just makes your mouth water. Yeah, they're not over sweet as Chrissy said. They are really quite nice. That sweetness, I bet, comes from the grape. More than likely. And the cooling agent that's in there, for me, that that's perfect. I mean, I don't, like, like I said before, I don't do stuff like that. I don't do menthol, mints or cooling agents, but that for me is just right. I'm quite happy if I had that one all day as well as quickly we could. It's just the way it makes your mouth water towards the end. You get that black current hit at the tip of your tongue, followed in by that little coolness, mm -hmm. and then the sweet juice of grapes. Yeah. If I had to sum this up in one word, it would quite literally be black current juice. It really would. I'm sorry, but you know that that's that that juice for me would be spot on. It really would be spot on. Absolutely. Well done for that one. <laughs> I can see why it's your favourite one, Mohammed. I really do like that one. Yeah, that one is quite nice. Um, Terry, Mohammed Hi. is the one that makes the hustler juice. Okay. He's from the UK distro for Hustler Juice. Cool. Uh, well done, buddy. So far, all the juices that we've had, we really haven't had any issues with them. They've all been absolutely bang on. And quite surprising, I hate <coughs> lime normally, and I actually like cunning. So that's that's a new one. Yeah. And as if any, if Pops can surely tell you anyway, if you go back over some of the reviews I've done in the past and there's been a lime juice, it's pretty much made me heave and I've just went, no, no, I'm vaping that one again. But that's me. I just hate lime in general. But that one, the way it's blended, I can't taste the lime and I couldn't taste the orange. So mm -hmm. I'm really impressed yep. with that one. I've got to put that with Dad a bit. Oh, well, let's give the last one a go. Right. The last one we got tonight is Hustler Juice Bold. And unfortunately, this will be our last review for this year. But since it's New Year tomorrow, guys, we shall welcome in the New Year with some more reviews of some description. Um, no days. It's New Year's Eve tomorrow, Terry. Yeah. Which is New Year. If you think about it, it's only yeah, New I, Year's Eve for twelve hours. I am not staying online to bring in the New Year. Why not? Come on, man. <laughs> okay, we'll do a that vote in a minute. That was quite hard. That was quite harsh. We'll do a vote in a minute. Okay. If 
we sit here and get pissed till midnight with the members of the group and bring in the new year together? Yeah. Or if we all celebrate New Year separately? Well, we don't have to sit here all night. We can all just tune in at half eleven or something. Come on, man. Let's have a laugh. It's New Year's Eve. New Year's Come Eve. On. Eve. No. It's the 30th. It's New Year's Eve. Eve. No, it's the 31st tomorrow. It's New Year's Eve. Yeah, but I'm on about today, you tit. No, we're not on about today. We're on about... Where have you been for the last 12 hours? <laughs> Seriously, really? We have something new for you in the new year. Ooh. That sounds interesting. Okay, that was a very weird smell. <coughs> it's all the petrol-y smell. Really? I think it's... Hello. Yeah, it could be just my hands rubbing against the bottle. It's just got... A, I no, I think it's just the bottle. <coughs> Don't just run over it, can you, Mufti? No, I think it was the bottle. Because it smells really, really mangoey. That smell. Ooh. That way, no longer here, then. <coughs> Three different mangoes in the bowl. Mm. I like mangoes. I don't like them if they're peely, though. Yes. Mm. Driving yourself there. No, <laughs> now that's an unusual one from Mango, because you sort of do get the three different levels. Don't ask me which ones they are, because I'm sure Pops could tell you, but I couldn't pick out the three separate mangoes that are in here. But you can definitely tell there's three different levels of it. Doesn't taste like there's much cooling to this. Oh no. Beef. I'd kick him in the balls for that. I would see we should do some damage for that one. I actually really like this bowl. He's gonna puzzle me now. <coughs> I can definitely taste three different types of mango. There's the right juicy mango. They hit your tongue straight off. Use a glass of tart. Tiny bit of cooling, which is really refreshing. Then you've sort of got the dried mango slices that get the packets. <laughs> Lots of crystallised sugary type sort of ones. Somebody can't pull a point. Oh, look at that. That's just disgraceful. Damn, this head on that. I can do a point, but I couldn't be asked to. Yeah, you're Yeah, life. That's just, oh my. That's disgraceful, Darren. <laughs> you guys should see the state of this beer. <laughs> that was a hint for Chrissy. <laughs> guys, look at this. Oh my God. Give me glass over here. Give me that glass. That's just disgraceful. <laughs> He's run away with it. My God. The shame. A man that can't pull a point. He can't pull hey, a point. Disgusting. I wasn't trying. Just still enough head on that to last a lifetime. Oh my life. Oh my god. Uh, it is exactly that. Sweet and succulent. Darren Baker, that was disgusting. Is it's like all the different types of mango. You get the ones where you bite into it straight from the centre. You get a burst of sweet juices across your, foot, your mouth. It's followed by the more moorish mm. in between level. And as you get close to the, the peel of the mango, you get that really sharp taste. Really, oh, really by the way, mate, it's our pleasure to do the review for you, mate. And 
have a good new year, will you? And you, Pops, and everybody else in the group, have a good new year. Good yeah, why not? Let's have a um, Considering someone was saying they didn't really like the Hustler range, and they said nothing really took their fancy. I actually like all of these. And surprisingly, my favourite is the Cunning. Now that's a really sweet mango. Three different levels of mango. So it's really, really sweet. It's all natural sweetener up. Because it doesn't taste like there's artificial sweetener added into it. It's nice, but it's the cooling agent that's in there that gets me. Yet again. That would be so much better without the cooling agent, as far as I'm concerned. But I really don't like it that much. Really? Well. But yeah, the main going in that is, is really, Terry, really nice and sweet. So. Bogan, see how he goes to the beer. What? What was that? <laughs> Yusuf said, Yeah. Terry, do a vaping bogan. See how it goes with the beer. Lol. What's one of them? He's a YouTuber. He, he, he tends to review a beer every time he reviews a vape product. If somebody wants to send us some um, beer, then we quite happy to review it. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Terry's not much one for beer and views, as you probably well guess. He sort of just jumps into the, the flavour taste. And the freebies and the fun. Come on, we're all waiting for your beer review. Oh, my beer review. One second, I need to wet my whistle first. Oh. That's quite refreshing. You can taste the hops. It's been well, well brewed, that has. Mm. Not the best beer in the world is 64. However, I will give it credit. It does its job. Anybody want some? You can't, you're at the end of the camera. More for me. Sorry, guys. You have to excuse me. Just walk through. I'll get a quick, quick tip on um, this. Terry, mm -hmm. Yusuf says, take a pull and blow the vape into the beer, then suck the beer. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, on camera. Let's just adjust the camera. Cheers, guys. Mmm. Quite fruity. <laughs> Sorry, I just might have to do that. Well, just just once more. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> <laughs> Let it settle for a minute or two. Bro, oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, it's pretty day, mate. Eh? Darren, your table's a fucking mess. <clears throat> Yeah, Terry's the joker. The reason my table's a fucking mess because half the Chrissy shit keeps seeping onto it. Just because my desk isn't that big. Yeah, pick another one. Yeah. This is my wall. Yeah. You put me in this corner next to your desk, so deal with it, bitch. Pick yeah. off this one other corner. Everybody puts Chrissy in the corner. I want this seven foot table I'm going to build for myself. I need it. You have one monitor. I've got two. Give yeah, a look at the size of it. Easy three times the size of your laptop. I'm worried about the monitor, Darren. Don't brag. Seriously. What? 
find another corner that isn't taken up by a reptile or a door. Oh, I want another one of these monitors. I want your monitors to get <laughs> Well, how much that one cost? You can kiss my ass. <laughs> yep, well said. Right, guys. As he wants me to do a review of the um, Snop TF retail prints. Cheers, Jim. Right, hang on. Another admin in the room wants to ask you guys a question, so we'll just lift up the camera. Oh, you'll fucking break it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this ugly twat. <laughs> Look at you for long. He wants me to do a review on the Snop prints. If you want him to do the review on the Snop prints. Bearing in mind he's not very active and he doesn't like doing live, so this will be a big step. <laughs> I want to see loads of hearts go across the screen. Fuck off. I've just got to tidy up my desk. <laughs> no, no, do you want it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's loads of likes coming across the screen and hearts. So uh, the viewers have uh, picked. You're doing it. All right, I'll do it at 10 if Chrissy's finished on. So 10 o'clock, he's going to go live. Guys. Ten o'clock tonight. Yeah, let's have it. Stick in the dump live. Right, well, I have to set the stuff up now. So let's get your shit off my desk. So ten o'clock tonight, guys. You big old drawer. Darren is me. going to be live <laughs> with a review on the smock prints. So I'm gonna <coughs> cut this short because he has fifteen minutes to get prepared. So this should be fun because he hasn't been live on the group for about four months now. Yeah. So, yes, and certain people are looking forward to this. Let's just Got see how well he gets out. on. This so, join us back fun. at 10 and we'll see you then. Okay, bye for bye now. Bye, guys. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs>